Hello design lovers, it's Ashley Childers and I am so excited for today's video because it is outdoor patio reveal time. I am going to share with you all of my designer tips and tricks on how you can create a beautiful, sophisticated outdoor patio ready for all the summer fun ahead. I know you're going to love today's video, so be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as we drop a new design video every Saturday. Now, before we do the full patio tour and I share my designer tips and tricks with you on how to decorate your patio for the season, I want to show you the before of this space. So last summer, my husband and I decided that we wanted to add a beautiful covered patio extension off the back of our house. And we really wanted to also add fenced in garden areas for me because we have tons of deer that come through our property every day so i needed all of my raised flower beds behind gates so what i decided to do was create a beautiful outdoor oasis for us and we absolutely love how everything turned out now this door that you see comes off of our mudroom and kitchen. So it's the perfect area for us to create this backdoor oasis that we wanted. And we decided to just take out the flower beds that were there and build up the flanking garden areas so that we had a more level space to work with. We went with the color palette that coordinates with my house. So we used cedar on all of the exposed wood and stained it to match our existing shutters. We also created a cohesiveness by using the same brick that we used on our house and painting it the exact same color. I love to use brick as a patio flooring because I think it's just a really beautiful textural way to add some character and charm to your patio. And that's what we did here. I also I also wanted to create an outdoor kitchen area, a place for me to pot all of my plants, and of course a grilling station for my husband. We included a beautiful seating grouping on the patio as well as a well-appointed dining table that we can host all of our family and friends at over the summer. Now, without further ado, let's go on a full patio tour and I'm going to share every beautiful detail with you. start on this back wall of our new outdoor patio and this door behind me is actually the door that leads out from our mudroom and kitchen so I love how the outdoor space and our indoor kitchen are connected over here let's start with First of all, this is a trash can. There's nothing fun about that, but I do want to talk about this vessel sink. So the inspiration for this vessel sink was this beautiful sink that I saw at Petersham Gardens in Covent Garden in London when I was there last fall with my daughter and mother. And I knew I wanted to create that beautiful look. I'm absolutely obsessed with Petersham. They do a really beautiful outdoor garden area and restaurant. And that was the jumping off point and inspiration for this whole space. So I did a vessel sink. It's really shallow and I love that it's shallow because I can put my pots up there and water them or uh, pot plants even inside of this. And it goes really well with the rest of the vibe that we have going on. I had it custom made. It is only three inches deep. So it's a really cool, unique sink to have outside in your patio area. I also did a really beautiful bridge faucet. I wanted the outdoor space to feel elevated and sophisticated. So a bridge faucet and then well, I also did a little sprayer because honestly, we need that when we entertain outside. This is some hidden storage that we have underneath the sink. I keep pots down there. I keep all of my little 
plant um, tag so I know what everything is that I have planted in the garden. And it's just a great place to store paper towels and stuff like that. We had these custom doors made for this space because I wanted to tie in the shutters that we have on the rest of our house right here in the new outdoor kitchen. If you have an opportunity, if you are planning a new patio and you want to do an outdoor kitchen, I highly recommend making sure that you include a sink, that you include a sprayer if at all possible, and that you do have some storage that is covered because inevitably we can't keep everything tidy all the time so it's nice to have somewhere where we can stash things away. We have moved down the wall just a little bit and I want to talk about some tips that you could possibly use in your outdoor patio that I have done here. So I really wanted to be able to have all of my pots and my little planters and watering cans at an arm's reach. So we did these floating cedar shelves and I really, really love them. They're very, very functional. So if you have an opportunity to incorporate some shelves in your patio space, I totally recommend it. It's beautiful, but it's also super functional. Also, this is a fun little trick that I did. These are actually laundry hampers and they have a galvanized insert inside of them. I had our trim carpenter add some casters on the bottom so they actually roll. And I use these for my potting soil and compost because it is difficult for me, all those big bags of potting soil and compost, to lug those around the garden when I want to pot my plants. So this is so handy. I have my compost down in there and then my little shovel and I can just roll them all, roll these little baskets all around the patio anywhere that I need. So that's a little trick you might want to try. We also added these little baskets on the underside of one of the shelves and we just did this with little hooks and I love having these baskets right here. I can grab them each morning. They have my little garden clippers in them and I just take this with me as I walk throughout the garden and clip flowers. I honestly do clip flowers for my garden every single morning. It is how I start my day. I bring my cup of coffee out. It's like the most zen and peaceful way to start a beautiful summer day. So. Doing things like having your basket ready, having your clippers available, that just is going to prompt you to go out in the garden and cut a couple of flowers, bring them inside, put them on your bedside chest. Those are the little luxuries in life that actually make a really huge difference on how we live. Over on this end of the outdoor kitchen, we decided to go ahead and integrate a beverage cooler and also a grill. We have really, really enjoyed having this beautiful built-in grill in our outdoor kitchen. We honestly grill probably three or four nights a week and it's just a really fun place for our family to hang out and have a beautiful al fresco meal together. have moved over a little bit on the patio and I want to show you the dining table that we have out here. So I went with a 96 inch teak table because I really did want to be able to accommodate eight people when we dine outside. I also incorporated some really beautiful and comfortable woven chairs. When you are choosing your outdoor patio furniture, I highly recommend really loving the look of it, but also making sure that the pieces are comfortable and well made. Our patio is covered, so our patio furniture is not getting rained on every day. Um, that's definitely something to think about when you are choosing patio furniture. If your patio is open to the elements, you really need to read the fine print on the furniture and make sure that it will take the daily wear and tear of the elements. And if you have the opportunity to sit in the dining chairs and sofa and side chairs or whatever you're purchasing for your patio, make sure and do that because your patio furniture needs to be just as comfortable and welcoming as your interior furniture. We have now 
transitioned into this space that we hang out and watch TV and have a fire on a crisp fall night. So when I was designing the seating arrangement for this new outdoor patio, I knew that I wanted to have a large sectional. And I really took my time choosing this beautiful sectional. It is, like I said, large and it's super comfortable. It's upholstered in a really durable sunbrella fabric. And then of course I added some beautiful outdoor cushions and throw pillows. I love to have throw pillows outside that look like they could be indoor as well. So these were the perfect option for me. I also, grounded the seating grouping with an outdoor rug. If you have the opportunity to add an outdoor rug to your seating arrangement on your patio or in your garden, I highly recommend it because it just adds another textural layer and creates a little bit more of a cozy vibe in the seating arrangement. I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of seating for impromptu guests, so I added these cute little woven stools in front of the fireplace, and we use them sometimes to prop our feet up on, or they can be occasional seating for additional guests when we need. We also made sure to have a cocktail table in the space for obviously setting down our drink, putting a book down when we need to and just having an additional surface to style. I want to talk a little bit about the fireplace that we added in our new outdoor patio and just outdoor fireplaces in general. So for us, I really wanted to create a beautiful moment because this is the focal point of this space when you walk out of the door from our mudroom. So it was important to me to create something beautiful and functional. We did a masonry fireplace, so we put logs on this on a crisp night, and we really love the ambiance that it creates. I added in a blue stone mantle, and what we did was we recessed the TV into the brickwork and then added these doors that mimic the shutters that are on our house so we can shut that when we don't want to see the tv and of course open them when we want to watch tv and honestly we watch tv out here almost every single night one other fun little designer detail that i incorporated into the fireplace was we added a slight taper to the shape of the fireplace. So it starts out quite large and then goes up ever so light, ever so slightly. It's not a huge taper, but it is just a beautiful added detail that I think adds some character and sophistication and charm to the fireplace. Lastly, I wanted to make sure that we had a raised hearth. I absolutely love sitting by the fire. I get cold really easy. So on a fall night, I just sit right here next to the fire, have a conversation with my family, and it's just a really beautiful way to end the day. Another designer tip that I want to share with you is really thinking through the sight lines that you are creating when you have a patio extension or you are decorating your patio for the new season. Because we have beautiful land behind us, I knew that when I designed this patio that I wanted to make sure that we had this fireplace as a focal point, but we also kept the space on each side of the fireplace open because there is a beautiful natural creek behind us and every spring and summer we have these beautiful ferns spring up out of the creek bed. It is one of my husband and I's favorite part about our property. So we wanted to make sure that as we are sitting on the sofa in our outdoor patio, we can see the ferns beyond. Another designer tip that I want to talk about when you are thinking about decorating your patio for the new season is to really make sure that you're adding in details, decorative accessories that 
make this space feel inviting and welcoming. So that could be a really beautiful woven tray on your cocktail table with some fresh flowers and a potted plant, or maybe adding in a potted plant on your fireplace like we have. The little stools that I spoke to earlier, that just adds a layer of sophistication and makes the space feel well thought out and beautifully designed. Now I want to go back one more time over to the outdoor kitchen space and show you a few of those decorative details over there that I incorporated to create a welcoming, inviting, layered space on that side of the patio. Now when you are decorating your patio, if you have the opportunity to add in some details that you might otherwise see on an interior space, I say do so because what that does is create a little bit more of a sophisticated and welcoming environment. So let me show you what I mean. I added in this towel stand and some linen hand towels as well as a soap dispenser out here next to the sink. Obviously, it's super practical to have these items out here, but it's also beautiful and makes this space feel very thoughtful. Over here on this side, I wanna show you a few things that I included as well. So I like to make sure and have everything that I need for gardening and entertaining close at hand, and that is good design. So you really need to take the time to think through all of the activities that you want to participate in on your patio or in your outdoor space. I do a lot of gardening and I wanted to make sure and have these handy little garden tags. I use my Sharpie marker that I have in one of these baskets and I can write the names of the various plants that I have in my garden on them. I use these all the time, so I just have these right here in a pretty little vintage crock. Also, I spoke to the baskets earlier, so we talked about that. Those are very handy for me, but I have some watering cans, a little mister, and then even down here, some pails that I use sometimes when I am deadheading my roses or weeding. I can just take one of these small pails with me out throughout the garden, and that's very practical, but they're beautiful. These are some of the little, um, seed pots that I have, and I use these a lot as well, but I think they're gorgeous. So I wanted to have them out on these open shelves because I think they're beautiful, but it's also super functional for me to be able to just grab them. Of course, I have this beautiful watering can. I use this a lot as well, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the shape of it, so I have it displayed right here on our countertop. And then thinking through all of the other items that I might need. So, of course, I have pots for my plants. I love going to the garden store. It's one of my very favorite activities, so I oftentimes come home with a new plant, and I love to have vessels and pots on these open shelves to grab and use when I need to repot my plants. I also love to incorporate really beautiful plants on the shelves and then also in pots on the countertop. It adds some color to this side of the patio. And for me, watering the plants every morning is actually a very therapeutic way for me to start my day. So I don't mind that I have plants that I need to hand water. If you don't love doing that, I would say group your pots in one area, maybe in a really gorgeous artful arrangement. I'll show you mine in a moment. And that way all of them are in one spot so you can hand water them with a watering can or better yet, if they happen to be in range of maybe your sprinkler system, you don't have to water them at all because your sprinkler system will do that for you. out into the garden and I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of the garden. I'm going to do a full garden reveal in a few more weeks when all of my flowers have started to bloom, but I just wanted to talk 
through a couple of the design features in the garden and some things to think about if you are creating a new garden space for yourself. So I knew that I wanted to incorporate raised garden beds, so we did that and you can get a little sneak peek of a few of those in front of me. Also, I have created two sets of stairs on each side of the patio and that is a really beautiful spot to incorporate my potted plants that I spoke about earlier. Another little tip that I have for you when you are decorating or creating your outdoor garden and patio space is to make a list of must-haves. So must-haves for me were an outdoor kitchen, a seating grouping with a fireplace, raised garden beds, and I absolutely had to have string lights. I think they are so magical and beautiful. We have them on every single night and they add the perfect touch to our new outdoor space. Okay, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed my new outdoor patio reveal and that you took away some tips and tricks that you can use when you are creating your outdoor spaces this season. Now, if you want a little sneak peek into my daily design adventures, check us out on Instagram and TikTok at Ashley Childers Home. And if you want more design goodness right now, you're going to wanna to watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, good design is for everyone. So create an outdoor space and garden that inspires you. Have fun entertaining this season and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.